Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, you know what that means. Market outlook time for this week in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. I wanna take a look at what content we could be getting as of course, Team of the Year is coming to an end. We, right, we have these cards that are in packs until Tuesday. They're going out of packs. The Team of the Years and the Team of the Year Honorable Mention cards. And then also what other SBCs we might be seeing. The upgrade packs run out today at 6 p.m. We got to talk about the Sabitzer SBC, Man of the Match cards that are in packs right now. I kind of just want to talk about this market as a whole again and um, where things have actually gone since Squad Battle Rewards a couple hours ago tonight because Squad Battle Rewards is a time frame that we look at a lot for Man of the Match cards and for a lot of people start to buy things on Sunday nights because they know that the market is usually lower then, and we've already seen some stuff bounce back. Team of the Year cards have bounced back a bit on the market uh, from where they were during weekly sell-off. Uh, and I want to talk about the upgrade pack situation as well. Just talk about all things FIFA regarding this next week, and also possibly future stars on Friday could be coming as well, because that is the promo we usually see right after Team of the Year. But again, Team of the Year cards, let's take a look at these right now, because these are the cards everybody is still wanting to get in their team. Look at these price boosts or price rises after uh, squad battle rewards tonight. Take a look at this Bruno Fernandez, who was 4.25 million coins, 4.1, honestly, all day on Sunday. And uh, people are always told that on Sunday nights, that's when the market get it, gets its lowest. And people just like to buy on Sunday nights now. And I'll say this, the Saturday night time frame is honestly the new Sunday night, especially on a week like this where a lot of people are just looking to buy, right? These team of the year cards, they really haven't shot up a ton from where they were on Friday. People were hoping for prices to go down over the weekend. They did a little bit on Saturday, a little bit on Sunday. And now these cards are really bouncing back because these guys are going out of packs and people who want them for their teams know that they have to buy them. Same thing with Alfonso Davies, right? You can take a look at the cards that have risen up the most out of pack or towards, you know, we get to the out of pack range already. Bruno Fernandez was 4.2, under 4.2, as we just saw. Alfonso Davies was in the 1.8 range. Van Dyke was like 2.6 flat. The one that I'm curious about is Neuer. We'll talk about him in a second. But Alfonso Davies is 1.95 mil. He was 1.82 on Sunday, bounced up to 1.9 with no lightning rounds. Because again, people thought we were going to get lightning round supply for these team of the years on Saturday and Sunday, which we didn't get. He went back down to the 189s, and then he boosted up to 1.9 right after squad battle rewards. He went up almost 100,000 coins because, again, people knew it's Sunday night, and they were told that, hey, this is your time to buy. A lot of people tell their... Um, a lot of people are told to buy teams and buy cards on Sunday night. But again, in all honesty, if you look at a lot of these cards and even some of the popular players across the market, I was looking at Neuer's Inform last night on the video here on YouTube um, for about 180, mid 180,000 coin range for Inform Neuer. Now, I know his team of the year has dropped, so I'm not expecting this card to really have dropped much. But Inform Neuer is right about 200k. So, you know, he's up about 10,000 coins from where he was last night when I bought one as a part of the video. And then also some of the Serie A specials that we looked at. Um, again, if it's a weekend especially like this where a lot of people are interested in making coins on a post uh, promo market rise, this uh, Alejandro Gomez, 201, I'm going to snag that right there because that is low. The one that I bought at 207 on Friday night, uh, I sold to a lazy at 237. So, I mean, cards like this, this guy was back to 215. It looks like he's kind of uh, trickled back down a little bit. But some of your Serie A specials and your Bundesliga specials that people have been wanting for their teams kind of shot up tonight as well um, with just the market being at the Sunday low point where people usually buy. So that's the kind of movement that we're seeing right now. A couple of cards I want to take a look at, right? Man of the match cards. These are the first man of the matches that we have seen this year on the market. And I want to make a point, right? Because some of these cards are, you know, they're not that great or incredible looking with in, in terms of their stats, but a lot of them are um, investable, I think, because a lot of them are at discard. Now, there's a green one right here for 15K. This is basically a discard, right? He discards for 15,000 coins. This right here is a buy for me. Now, I'm going to put this one. Basically, I'm going to take this Greenwood and I'm just going to put it in my club because this is one thing you can do with Man of the Matches. Since they're so rare, you find a guy like Greenwood. This isn't that bad of a card, right? 
81 rated, five star weak foot, three star skills. He's Manchester United. He is English. He's got decent stats. That's a card that probably in a week or two is going to be somewhere around the range of 20,000 coins plus. So if you can find any of these man of the match cards that are, um, you know, in demand, right? From this from this set of man of the matches, that one's got a Hunter Chem style on it. Uh, the man of the matches we have right, right now are Greenwood, Foden, Chiesa, Abraham, Erickson and Rodriguez from Burnley. I honestly like Erickson, Foden, and Greenwood the best. And Chiesa, honestly. I like Chiesa because of the Serie A links. And he's basically discard. because So these cards are honestly like discard in form investments. And usually they get to their lowest with the squad battles supply on Sunday night. So I'm, I'm actually really interested in this Chiesa. I'm the most interested in Greenwood because I feel like that Greenwood card is going to rise to above 20,000 coins out of packs. And if you think about it, right, there were no lightning rounds that these cards literally never encountered lightning rounds, unless there's going to be lightning rounds that will come out um, on Monday or Tuesday, which I do not expect. Then these guys, the Ericsson, the Greenwood, those man of the match cards will not have any lightning round supply because they did not come into packs until late on Friday. That's why we look at squad battle rewards is like the perfect time to be investing in some of these because that's their only supply, honestly, for the week. I now I'm not entirely sure when these cards go out of packs. I think it's going to be on Tuesday night. Usually they're in packs for like four days. So, you know, these cards are pretty cheap, right? I like Greenwood the best. Maybe buy one, throw it in your club. That's a really easy kind of discard investment, if you will, right now on the market. And other things to take note of is that these team of the year, honorable mention cards, Robertson, Immobile, Fakir, Navas. Uh, I think I'm missing one of them. I forget who I'm missing. Marquinhos. These guys are really, really rare. These guys never gotten, they got the lightning rounds from the first day. Of course, Robertson on Friday night was 300,000 coins flat. I think even on Sunday during the day that he was around 330K, these cards are going to be fantastic to trade with out of packs. Yeah, 330, went to 370, back down to 340, and has now risen back up. If we get any pack supply in the next couple of days, Robertson, Marquinhos, and... Um, What's the other one I was going to say? Fakir. Those are the three cards that I would look at, even Jesus Navas, in, to a sense. Um, I think these guys are going to be great investments, honestly, to rise out of packs better than team of years, in a sense, for um, you know the lower kind of budget players, too, in this game, because those cards are going to be super duper rare, and I do think they will rise nicely out of packs. Now, some of the market has um, stayed a little bit lower. You look at some of the out of pack specials that are not in the Serie A or not in the Bundesliga. And you kind of notice that there are some of those cards that are that are still kind of chilling on their lower tier range because uh, they are either just not as used in people's teams anymore because people, of course, have kind of switched to the Serie A and Bundesliga meta. 88 Paul Pogba, 500,000 coins. 87 Ben Yedder, 415. Now these are still very overpowered cards, popular cards. I think they will bounce back at some point, but of course, with the way the meta is right now, and Dombele's 30K, that's crazy, right? That's really crazy. This is the lowest he's been since I flipped him uh, when he was in packs. So that's something to kind of keep an eye on as well with this market. There's a lot of stuff that is low, but again, you have to look at what's popular in this game right now, and what's popular is the Ronaldo SBC, um, of course, the Boateng SBC, the Dybala, the Serie A Lynx, and that is what people want to have in their teams and in their clubs right now, and that's where you're seeing the most market movements. Now, speaking about content this week, so that's kind of where the market is right now, right? It's going to be a great week to trade, right? You, you see on my transfer list that I have, I've got icons that I've traded in the past 48 hours. Technically, I didn't really trade today. I just opened packs, uh, to be honest with you. But a lot of these icons right here, this is adding up to, I made about 50K on this card. I made about 40K on that. I made 25K on that. I made 40k on this so like i'm looking at some nice profit here on my transfer list these icons are going to continue to fluctuate because people have coins in this game and what that means a couple things for the market this week number one if there is content that ea puts out like we had a mid icon um sbc of course two days ago on saturday and then we had the Subitzer released yesterday on sunday which by the way this might be one of the worst sbcs price wise i think we've ever seen in this game because this card is coming in at a whopping five hundred and fifty thousand coins to complete on the market on the game for this sbc and I, I made this point on twitter and i'll say it again here if this card was tradable on the actual transfer market 
I don't think that this card would be much more than 150,000 coins. I know he has really insane stats, but he doesn't get the best of links. He get he does get some links. I just feel like this is not a on the market a card like this just really isn't going to be 500k like that SBC cost. So I'm not a fan of this one and it just kind of leaves us with a sour taste in our mouth as we head out of team of the year, right? Because we're always hoping and looking for Team of the Year to be a super duper hyped promo. We did get the Ronaldo SBC. We got the uh, Boateng. We had the Dybala, the Ribéry, which were cool. But it just was lacking like that extra oomph, right? It just was lacking. The Team of the Year just seemed like it was lacking, especially even the lightning rounds. A lot of guys were not even able to open packs. People have FIFA points that they bought for Team of the Year. They didn't even have a chance to open those FIFA points because they were waiting for the full team to be in packs. And lightning rounds went so fast on Thursday and Friday that they're stuck opening like the the you know sets of packs in the store, not even able to do lightning rounds. Um, so that could have some market implications going forward if people instead open packs for future stars this coming weekend. If that the, if that is the promo that's coming out, but with these team of the year cards only having one day left in packs. I'm not expecting lightning rounds over the next today or tomorrow. Obviously, this is their last full day in packs on Monday. And of course, these SBCs are going away. Some people have asked me, do you think they're going to update with new upgrade SBCs like a player pick or an 81 plus? I highly doubt it because, again, these guys are only in packs for one day. Unless EA is going to drop like an 82 to 88 SBC and an 81 double plus just to have in the game if people are trying to craft icon SBCs. Uh, like they have the mid icon out right now. They still have the base or mid available. That would be the only thing that I could see coming out today. I doubt that they re-up these unless they do it for one day. That'd be my only, my only, I guess, thing we could see EA do today on Monday. But other than that, I don't really expect maybe one more player SBC. But other than that, I feel like I honestly just want to be done with team of the year, right? I packed my Kimmich. I'm happy with that. You know, I might try a couple more upgrade packs, but right now with no supply on the market, if you were somebody who invested in rare golds, you're feeling really good right now. And a lot of you guys, I said, I said, wait to sell until Sunday um, because that's when the, the, the supply should be the lowest anyway. And a lot of these rare golds you can sell on the market for 1,000 1, to 1.2K, which is crazy, right? Because you were able to buy them for 850 coins literally all week. Uh, until now, but without lightning rounds, these guys are selling now 1k to 1.2k as people are trying to build upgrade packs to spam them right before these cards go out of packs. So that was a GG if you held any of those. And speaking of gold cards on the market, SBC fodder again is flying, right? The only cards that are low right now in terms of SBC fodder are really 84s and 83s. 83s and 84s, 85s aren't bad, um, but the lower tier fodder is the only thing that I would say to get interested in right now like Partey at 6.5k this is a very linkable 84 rated card he fluctuates around a decent amount um but you take a look at idrissa gay uh 6, coins for this card as well and he's fluctuates around right? he was 8,000 coins down to 5.8 up to 6.8 so a lot of these cards in the 83 84 range are worth a decent club stock to be completely honest with you uh, but then the stuff that is crazy expensive right now in game is the high tier, right? Again, we looked at these Allison's 67,000 coins for Allison right now. He was like 45K, 48,000, 49,000 coins during the Thursday lightning rounds, even lower than that probably if you were sniping him. And now, of course, people are having those coins. They're going out, they're doing icon upgrades, they're doing the big time Ribery SBC and other the, the other SBCs that are in FIFA, Ronaldo with the 86 rated squad. You know, that might even be bringing some demand for the higher rated SBC fodder. But honestly, if you haven't bought, if you if you bought 86s, 87s or above, honestly, just hold, right? Just hold because, again, we're headed out of the promo. People have coins in FIFA, and we talked about this yesterday. Since there's SBCs available in the store, a lot of people like me might even have an SBC partially finished. I'm trying to finish Bruno Fernandez. I'm going to maybe take the hit and do a set of maybe 10 to 15 upgrades just to try to see if I can hit a last minute team of the year and some SBC fodder because I have to do this 88 rated squad for Bruno Fernandez. And right now it's very, very expensive. I've got what, like 15 days to do this before he goes away? 14 days before this Bruno goes away. People might have base or mid icon SBCs halfway done, kind of like I have. Now, I'm not going to finish this one, um, but there's a lot of SBCs out in the game and people are going to be interested in that so honestly the market to me if, if there's really no content that's going to be coming out this week which i don't see there being a lot of 
Um, I do think you will see the market kind of just trickle back up, right? Links to those popular players like Neymar and Boateng, the Serie A and the Bundesliga will probably continue to rise up. You're going to start to see road to the final players rising up more as well. Headliners, of course, that are headed for upgrades on Wednesday for their streak. And then um, because that's just what people are going to be investing in right now in FIFA. That's what they're looking towards next. And then, of course, we had this promo last year come right after Team of the Year. We had Batch 1 and Batch 2 of Head... Sorry, not Headliners. Future Stars, right? Future Stars. Now, this is a promo that came out in FIFA 19 for the first time. Last year, they didn't juice the cards up as much as they did in FIFA 19, but the cards were still really, really good, really high rated, and they were all like interesting, right? They, they boost these cards up pretty well because they know that they just released a bunch of really high rated cards during team of the season. So they had to kind of back that up with something sick with future stars as well. And this has been a fan favorite promo for the past two years. I think they're going to drop this promo if it's not this Friday. I mean, I would expect it to be this Friday because EA, I don't know, if I'm EA, I'm like, all right, this team of the year promo did not go over well in the world. A lot of negative feedback, apart from the Ronaldo SBC, which has been a huge hit for them. I know it has been. Um, it just seemed like team of the year was kind of eh, right? Just eh. And now... Uh, hopefully they see this as an opportunity to make something really cool happen with future stars. So I would start to see, you know, loading screen potential. If EA wanted to try to create some panic and tease us, I guess, for future stars, that might be something that we see um, as we head out of the week or into the week. Sorry, as we head towards, you know, Wednesday timeframe, uh, something like that. I would keep an eye on the market for maybe a little bit of panic selling regarding future stars because people know that it's a very high promo they're very interested in it and it's going to be cards that you know people are going to want to buy for their teams because if you look at the cards again just to go back here to this page think about how many of these cards that you wanted to get your hands on last year right because they were cool this ikone with the french links was crazy was crazy this daniel mallon had crazy price movements as well renan lodi this tamori was like one of the best english center backs in the game of FIFA, batch one, when they came out, the Joao Felix, the Greenwood was very hyped up. The Kabak was one of the only, you know, special center backs in the Bundesliga that we had. This, I remember trading a ton with Emerson, with Aarons, Dembele, and Kamara. Like, Future Stars is a really, really high promo. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to it now after Team of the Year where it was really lackluster. Um, I'm really kind of looking towards future stars. So that's something that we might see later on this week if EA wants to keep the content rolling um, into the year 2021. So I'm really curious to see if they do that. But um, yeah, a lot of people are heading out. There's two different ways you can head out of team of the year, right? A lot of people see team of the year as like the last ditch effort, you know, uh, the last kind of attempt maybe for them to have some fun in FIFA or they came back after being done with FIFA already and now after team of the year, they've left their club in shambles. They've got no coins and they're done with FIFA for the year. There are a lot of people that drop off of FIFA around this time frame, And it's honestly just because they feel like the game isn't fun for them anymore, anymore. And team of the year is just like a last ditch effort to try to pack one of these sick cards and keep their interest. Well, you're going to see some people drop off the game, but of course EA is going to try to combat that with probably a lot of promos in the next two to three months back to back to back. If you think about it last year, we had team of the year. We had headliners, we had future stars, winter refresh, icon moments involved with that, and then shapeshifters. We literally had two months solid of content almost every single Friday um, in FIFA. So I would honestly expect that again this year. And that's just the way E likes to run it in January and they know that that's how they wanna start off the new year. I expect it again this year. And I think it could be future stars starting this Friday. So, of course, that's just preliminary thoughts. Nothing guaranteed or nothing yet um, set in stone. But definitely watch the market because stuff is going to be fluctuating. As people have coins, they're willing to spend them. They're willing to try cards out. It's going to be a great week to just fluctuation trade, to trade with icons, to get on the open bids with cards as well. Because trading gets easier in the second half of the year as people drop off and lose motivation it's definitely easier to make coins. I'll be honest and say that. So definitely watch out for some of those avenues to open up this week. But if you're trying at one last shot at packing the team of the year, good luck. I hope you can snag one. They're hard to pack, but that's the way it should be, right? It's team of the year. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. That's the market outlook for this week. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.